fellas. Let's get them pumped. Like and subscribe. Real Murder TV. Stay alert at all times. If you don't feel good, trust your guts. You either handle it or get away from it. It ain't worth our lives. Pay attention. Always pay attention. Um, we got people like Bobo, KTS Vaughn. Not KTS Drake, but you can say Vaughn too. Situation, his um, brother or whatever. Um, they was getting out of jail and, and they was happy to come home. They didn't think nothing gonna happen, and they end up losing their life, especially when you're in the streets and you're doing things, and you know your your name is hot. Any second, a motherfucker can get at you. I know you're not scared. You want to prove that you're real, but that's just how the game go. You got to stay on your toes because. People are lurking. People are mad at you. People want you. People is coming to get you. You can lose your life at any second. If you know you did something, done something, always stay alert. Do not give in. Do not slack off and not pay attention. And it can cost you your life. It'll be your last day on earth. Proving that we hard. I mean, it's okay to be hard, but everybody, uh, Tupac said, if he could reach out and touch you, you could be touched. Okay, standing on business. That's what I want to speak on, LBG Duck. Um, people like Mo3, uh, King Von and all of them. Um, if you go back and watch everything and react to everything, LBG Duck probably had a chance to survive and live. But because he was so real and he just couldn't be seen running from his ops or them laughing at him, he he stayed. Cause um like like they said, you know what I'm saying? He was telling people to get out the way, be careful. He was asking the people, can he come back there? He spotted them all the way. He could have got away, but you know, Duck was being so real and you know what I'm saying, so calm on the, in the situation because he probably didn't know if it was gonna be his last day. He just wanted to get out of that situation, you know what I'm saying? Cause he was shopping for his son. He didn't know how it was going to end. Nobody knows how things going to end. But, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he could have got away. You know what I'm saying? But being too real holds us back from some of the people dead because they tried to be too real. And you don't know when to give in. We all humans, man. As long as you ain't snitching and all that, you can get away. You can come back and explain yourself later. You know what I'm saying? Like little Bibby. When it was called K.I. and um, Lil' J and all them ran up on Lil' Bibby. Lil' Bibby ran and then he explained himself later. They said they weren't going to do nothing. They just wanted to talk to him. Who knows what would have happened. They might have would have killed Lil' Bibby. So Lil' Bibby had to come back and explain himself later. You live to see another day. You ain't no punk. Like when Mo3 got out the car, he could have kept driving even though the dude got in front of him and cut him out and made him wreck. He got out the car and went around to his um. The driver's side and tried to get uh, a gun, but I guess they took the gun out or whatever. I felt like if he was just straight took off running right then when he got out the car, he may have got away or got in the car with somebody, or he I would have just probably jumped over the clip, probably found a way of jumping over the clip. That dude can't run everywhere with that gun like that. I mean, he would have got caught. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, we too real, and you know what I'm saying? Mo3 had a chance, you know what I'm saying? Even though when he said he spotted the guy behind him, but he didn't know for sure. We don't know what's gonna happen and what's gonna go down, but we just go along with the situation and see how it's gonna play out. But sometimes it don't play into our favor. G-Money, all these guys, man. Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Arguing over the game and they lost their life, you know what I'm saying? They was, they was friends or whatever the case, uh, case was, but you know what I'm saying? People losing their life. If you got money, you don't have to gang bang no more. You don't have to be in the streets. You don't have to be out here doing a lot of things, man. Stop letting these people say y'all ain't gangster and all this and whatever. And you read that text. The person you read his text and be like, man, fuck it, I am a gangster. You rich and he probably ain't even got five dollars in his account. And you go and do what he wants you to do because he he come and say you ain't gang, you ain't gang, you ain't this and that. If you already eating, you don't have to stoop low to these guys, man. Yeah, I know we want to stand on business. It's okay to stand on business, but the way the world is now, you can't stand on business right now because everybody want to kill. Somebody got to go. Somebody. So, we got to change, man. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's getting to the point where people think they got to have a body. Y'all finna go in front of God with two or three, four, five bodies. 
Come on now, what you think finna happen, man? How y'all gonna explain yourself? Some of y'all dying young. Some of y'all dying over something that I'll be embarrassed to go to the Lord to, to know that's what I died out of. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna explain that stuff? Like Master P said, some of that stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? When guys getting their tats all over their face, when they dying out, how you gonna explain that to God? You know? We gotta change, man. That shit was cool and stuff back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Fighting and stuff, or you put a bullet in a person, a leg or something. That was cool, but you know what I'm saying? But killing people, killing women and kids, and then you going to sleep at night. It's a lot of people out here still walking the streets today, and they have shot and killed a kid and never been caught. Eating breakfast, going to work, uh, doing whatever they're doing, getting money. And they have killed a female, old person, kid, and nothing been done about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I tried to be like that one time. I ran down on a dude with some homies and pulled a gun out of him and checked him. And I, and I was showing out on him, you know what I'm saying? And in front of him, you know what I'm saying? And then I saw him again at the mall with some more homies. And the guy was pacing. And my homie asked him, what's up to you? Man, what's to you? And he was like, yeah, I'm finna get you. But he was looking at me. I knew what was up. My homie didn't know what was up. So when he hit the corner, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I knew he was, finna, he was making a call or he was finna do what he was finna do. I knew he had no pipes on him. I, I, he hit the cone and went around in the mall. I told my homies, let's go. And they were trying to like, and when I, when we got in the car, I told them what was up. They be like, oh shit. It's like, man, you gotta be careful out here, man. If you've done something to somebody that did something to somebody, man. Man, come on now. That person might come back and get you, especially if you out here in the streets, man. You gotta be careful out here, man. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's very dangerous, man. That could have been my day. A couple of times could have been my day, but I was blessed to get away and blessed to move around because I used my mind. Like when I know it's finna go down, it's finna go down. Get away from it. You ain't no punk. You live to see another day. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what a lot of us don't want to do today. All of us want to be this and be that, but you know what I'm saying? We costing ourselves our lives. Just like Quavo, you know what I'm saying? That argument, all I know you doing the thing. If that person owe him or he owed that person, should just walked away. They rich, man. But it caused a big situation and a very bad situation. And you, that little money they was fighting over, they, it, it don't mean nothing if they to bring Taco back. They won't take all back. That little money don't mean shit. Anybody could come out and pay that little money. You know what I'm saying? But see, it wasn't worth it. It was a guy just wanted a body. A lot of people want to prove that they real and want a body. None of the person you got to watch out for. They ain't really no killers, but they just want to prove they can catch one. And then they hit a big name, you know what I'm saying? Just like King Von, he could have, he he had the life. I mean, he was getting, nobody gonna get a second chance like that. Especially if you didn't probably, allegedly, he didn't probably kill eight, nine people. I'm just saying, and to get the life that he got and take care of his family, his family and all them eating good now. Kyla B, his mama, all them, mama finna get paid off this new album finna get dropped. I mean, a lot of people eating because of their family. But some people don't have to prove that they gangster no more. Von didn't have to prove nothing no more. But he kept doing it. He said in his song, um, I fell back and got my bands up. Still to make you put your hands up. I was like, this boy won't never stop. Won't never stop. And you know what I'm saying? And Duck was just too real. Melly was too real. Melly. He should have been around his own crew. I just feel like a lot of you guys would have been alive if they wouldn't have. They, was, they, they died because of their reputation, even though they had enemies and ops, but proving that they this and that, it's a reason why a lot of these guys in the grave, they could have walked away. And that's the point I'm, I'm sending in this, in this documentary I'm doing, part one, uh, standing on business sometimes can cost us our life. Rest in peace to all the rappers.